Welcome to RK Tutorial Solutions by Engineering Mechanics 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.4 and problem number 3.57. Referring to figure K, determine the coordinates X and Y of the centroid of a 100 mm diameter from a circular hole cut in a thin plate. This point will be the centroid of the remaining shaded area. That means I would like to find the centroid of this circle. The centroid of the total area becomes the centroid of this circle. So in order to carry out this problem, I will consider total three areas here. The first area is total rectangle second area is and third area is now i would like to see that the centroid of this circle is the centroid for the total area that means so this is the first area minus the triangle this triangle which is at a distance of 100 mm from y axis and 75 mm from x axis minus this circle that is 100 so this we will analyze now first i will consider this rectangle the centroid is exactly at the center minus the triangle the centroid is here minus the circle the centroid is here now i will calculate area and centroid for the rectangle triangle and this circle. So first we consider this rectangle. The area 200 into 150 which gives 30,000 mm square and the centroid is at a distance of that is 75 mm and 150 mm. That means x1 is equal to 100 mm and y1 is equal to 70. Next take this right angle triangle. Second area that is half base into height because it is a right angle triangle the area is half base into height. Half base value is 100, height value is 75. So half 100 into 75 which gives the value of 3000 mm. Now, I want this total this, and also I want uh, this height that is x2 and y. What we know? I know that this distance is equal to 2 into 100 by 3 and also I know that this distance is equal to 2 into 75 by 3. But I want the distance from x axis and I want the distance from y axis. So for that, what I will do is x2 is equal to 100 that is from this point to this point which gives the value of 100 plus 2 into 100 by 3 which gives the value of 166.67 mm. And y2 that is, I want the distance from this to this. So, this value is, you know, this is 75. And you know, this value is 2 into 75 by 3. So, the total distance y2 becomes 75 plus 2 into 75 by 3, which gives the value of 1.5. Next, coming to the circle, the diameter is now 100. So, I can say A3, 5 by 4 D square, which gives the value of 7853.96 mm. But coming to the centroid, we don't know this distance. We don't know this distance. And also, we don't know this distance. So, for that, I am assuming that this centroid is xc and this centroid is y. But given that this xc and yc is the centroid for the total figure. So I will take x3 is equal to xc and y3 is equal to y. The centroid of this circle is the centroid for the total figure. So I will take x3 as the centroid the total centroid for the uh, composite area and y3 is the centroid y component of the centroid for the total composite area. Now I will substitute in the formula xc is equal to a1 x1 minus a2 2 x2 minus a3 x3 by a1 minus a2 minus a3. Now I want I know all these values, so I will substitute a1 x1 a2 x2. Coming through a3, I know the area, but the centroid for the circle is nothing but the centroid of the common composite area. That's why this x3 becomes this area. divided by a1 minus a2 minus a. So upon simplification, so I will take some cross multiplication and all. So after simplification, you will get this value, and I can say xc finally you will get 90.4757 mm. This is the answer x for x comma. Similarly, I will substitute in the formula yc a1 y1 minus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 by a1 minus a2 minus a3 and after substituting here yc that is the centroid for the composite area is nothing but the centroid for the circuit. The remaining all other values are known. So upon substituting and after simplifying like this by taking some cross multiplication just similar to xc and finally you will get yc 67.857 mm. So these two are the answers for the given problem.